Hi, John Fleck here from Backcountry Boundaries 4x4. Today we're going to go ahead and show you how to replace a shackle bushing on the frame. This happens to be a 1969 Scout 800, but the procedure will be the same for the Scout 2s and Travelers and such of the 70s. But our first step is to go ahead and of course remove all the shackles and get all the suspension out of the way. The second step, and the easiest way that we found to do it, is by using an oxyacetylene torch, or sometimes you can even use a torch. But we're going to use a uh, oxyacetylene torch. You don't need to have the heat up real high. Realistically, you just need to have a nice small gentle flame. What we're going to do is we're going to stick it inside the steel center sleeve, waggle it around, and just heat that up until it really starts getting getting hot, and you'll see what I mean. Stick that in there, and move it around all sides. Starting to get warm, you can see it smoking and catching on fire. We always put something on the ground to catch it. Okay, once that's going good, we'll go ahead and blow that out, set our torch down. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to take a standard screwdriver, we're going to put it in there and kind of pinch an angle and twist. And it just heats it up and then drops right out like that. So once that's out, all that's left is the rubber and then the steel outer sleeve. So we'll pry underneath it. We'll just pry. We'll just pry around here, all different sides. Do we get that bushing? chunk out into little pieces and stuff. You do want to use gloves because the rubber will still be a little bit gooey and warm. But there you go. So now we have our bushing that's popped out. It just comes out in a bunch of pieces. Now the last thing left is the steel inner sleeve. So what we do there is usually there's a lip protruding and you can see where the steel outer casing that's welded to the actual hanger itself is there. Then you can see the thinner outside edge. And that's the way most of the stock bushings are on Scout 2s, Scout 800s. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a punch or a chisel, and we're just going to bang that edge up. Once we bang that up a little bit, we have to do, have an air hammer. And attached to our air hammer, we have a chisel bit. And it's just a bit that constantly drives this back and forth. And what it has on it, it has a little three-prong tip. We're going to plug that in, we're going to put that on that edge and just drive it out. It's probably not going to come all out, and what we're going to do is we're just going to be peeling up the edge in various little pieces around it until it gets loose enough and it pops out. It'll be loud, so you won't be able to hear this portion. see already how it's peeling up this edge. And we work our way around it. Out comes your bushing. 
So there it is. That's how you remove your steel bushing, work your way around, and then pound it out. Then what we'll do to prep this is we'll go inside and we'll just take all these little burrs off of a little small rat tail file, smooth it down, and then we clean the insides of these really good with a piece of sandpaper or like a scotch bright pad. Get it nice and smooth in there. Then we put our bushings in, we always grease the outsides of them, we grease the insides of them, and we even grease the steel sleeve that goes in there. Now everything's greased up nice. And a final tip for you when you put your shackles on, is to not over tighten them. You just need to go down to where they're snug, maybe a quarter turn. As long as you have like a stover lock nut or a uh, nylock nut. Anyway, that's how you do it. So this is John from Backcountry Binders 4x4. If you need some bushings for your scout or your pickup or anything like that, give us a call. I'd be more than happy to help you. Thanks. Have a great day.